Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shadavia and this is Oshi Budgets where I talk about all things money, budgeting, and savings related. On my channel, you will see things like budget with me's where I share my real numbers. I also do cash envelope stuffings, savings challenges, and I give you guys debt and savings updates on my own personal financial journey. So if any of that is content that you may be into, do me a favor and give today's video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, but don't forget your notification bell, you guys, so you never miss the next time I post. Now, by the title of today's video, you can see we are doing a low $328 low income cash envelope stuffing. So today I'm going to be cash stuffing my savings challenges for 2023. And if you want to see how I'm using the cash envelope method or the cash envelope system in conjunction with savings challenges to help me reach my goal of saving $10,000 this year in 2023, then just keep watching today's video. Now, as I mentioned today, we are doing a $328 cash stuffing and I am going to be using my own personal savings challenge book that I've created for low income budgets. If you're interested in this savings challenge book, it's always linked in my description box below, but I also have a PDF version that is available for download as well. And I'll make sure to add that to the description box as well. So let's go ahead and get straight into today's cash count and then we can start cash stuff in my savings challenges. So I have a total again of 100, 200. So let's go ahead and put that 250. 260, 70, 80. So 280, 85, 90, 91, 92, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So all of the cash is there. Again, we have $328 that I'm going to be cashed up in today. Now, the $328 um, did come from my biweekly paycheck, and that's how much I was able to save over this last two weeks. So let's go ahead and get my savings challenge book open. Um, again, I did create this savings challenge for low income budgets, but even if you're not on a low income and you need to save it or just enjoy doing savings challenges, then this book is absolutely perfect for you. So today we're going to be cash stuffing five of my low income savings challenges. So let's go ahead and get the book open and then we can get to cash stuffing as well. Alrighty, so the first savings challenge that I am going to do a cash stuffing for is my self care is not selfish. Now, this challenge has a savings goal of, I was about to say $50, you guys, not $50, $200. Um, but today we're going to go ahead and cash the $50 for this challenge. And then we actually started this challenge last month in the month of March. And we were able to save $25. And so it looks like for the month of April, since we did $20 um, for my first paycheck for the month of April, we're now doing $50, which means that in the month of April, I'm going to go ahead and update my tracker as well, that we were able to save $50 plus $20, which is $70. So let me go ahead and update that. 70 and if you guys missed it um as well i did do a bill condensing where i took the cash that was in my savings challenge binder and i took it back to the bank for my high yield savings account um that way i'm not losing out on the additional interest that i could be earning so Self-care is not selfish. It does have some prop cash in here, but again, we're just gonna go ahead and add the real cash today. Um, so we had 45 that was saved and that was put into the bank. 
And today we're going to add the $50 of real cash. So now in self-care is not selfish. We have 50, 70, 90, 95, which is exactly what our tracker says. So that is our self-care um, savings challenge, you guys. So let me go ahead and get that closed up and then we can move on to our next savings challenge that we have. Um, so the next challenge we are going to cash the for is going to be, let's see which one. We're gonna go ahead and do secure the bag. Now this savings challenge um, is a large savings challenge, you guys. As you can see, each bag represents $100, but in the end, you will have a total savings of $3,500, which is a lot, and I don't know who couldn't use that extra um, $3,500, but if $100 is too much for you guys, you can always split the bag up into 50-50 if you want. Um, I kind of always explain that in these savings challenge videos. The good thing about these savings challenges is that they're all self-paced. So however or whichever way you want to work your savings challenges, you have every right to do so. There's not like a strict deadline that you need to complete these challenges so do what works for you guys and if this is one of the challenges that you just do not or don't think you can complete i would say try it out you will be surprised what you're able to accomplish when you actually you know put your mind to it and set yourself up for success so keep that in mind um and again i'll just challenge everyone um who's on a low income budget to at least attempt this challenge to see if it does work um, for you. So with today's cash envelope stuffing, I'm going to go ahead and add $200 to this challenge. Um, and again, the reason why I'm able to put $200 towards this challenge is because I do have a goal of saving $10,000 in 2023. And so that means that I have a minimum amount that I am supposed to take out from each paycheck. But in addition to that, um, I've also been working or had the, I guess, the pleasure of working a little bit of overtime just to add a little extra. So we started this one in March as well with $400 and we were able to save one, two, three, four, five. So $500. Did I count that right? Wait, six, three, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So if we did nine total bags and we had 400 in March, that means we should have um, saved $500 for the month of April. And this is our secure the bag. So let's go ahead and get that. And let's see. We have one two three four five six seven and then the 200 that i'm gonna put in today so 100 200 three four five six seven eight nine so 900 total that we have saved towards the secure the bag um savings challenge now again you guys um you see the prop cash that i've swapped out and that is because i would prefer not to have 700 dollars now 900 dollars just sitting in this cash envelope and not gaining any interest so i decided that on a monthly basis i'm gonna do a swap if i haven't completed the challenge to put it towards my high yield savings account and start earning interest on that money sooner rather than later so let's go ahead and update the tracker so for the month of april again we saved a total of five hundred dollars towards this particular secure the back um, money challenge now, the next savings challenge that I'm going to be cashed up in for today, it's not any of those. Um, this one is my financially free. This one does have a savings goal of $100. And again, we started this one in March. I feel like a lot of the challenges I started in March um, because on I'm trying to complete at least one or two a month. Um, so this is kind of trending on what I'm able to save as well. So we started this one in March with $20. Um, today we're going to cash stuff a total of $30 towards this challenge. And that's just going to, I'm just going to go ahead and color in this butterfly. 
if I can color in the lines. Oh my goodness, that is terrible. <laughs> Alrighty, so that is our butterfly. And then each wing on this butterfly is $10 as well. So then that takes us a total of $30. And let's see if we can calculate how much we were able to save towards this financially free. And now, um, again, a lot of, all, well, I would say all of the challenges in my book are for low income budget. So this one, again, savings goal of $100 may not seem a lot, you guys. But one of the things that you are going to hear me constantly say, especially if you're new to my channel, is a little bit definitely goes a long way. And all the little small amounts that you're able to save does eventually add up over time. So even if you don't feel like you're making a lot of progress and you're not saving thousands of dollars immediately, just by saving $10 here and there, you guys, you'll be surprised how much you can save over time. So let me get the financial free cash envelope opened here. And there we are. And then we have, again, $30 that we need to add to this challenge. And I'm about to go back and update the track on this one. So we have $40. So 10, 20, 30. So we should have a total of $70 towards this challenge, which is simple math. So I guess um, for the month of April, we were able to save $50 towards this secure the bag savings challenge. So let me go ahead and update that one as well. So 50, which means that, oh, I could have just looked and saw that we have $30 left, which would be the body of um, this little silhouette here. So that's the financially free. And then the challenge that I am most excited about today, you guys, is my dollar days. Now, as you guys can see, I did start this one in the month of January. And so this challenge has a savings goal of $60 and so each little uh, symbol or dollar is worth one single dollar and so at the end of this challenge again you'll use that $60 towards whatever you would love to use it for um, but this is a great example of what I just said how even a dollar a day or a dollar here and there does add up over time I know I personally have a gas budget of $60. So having an extra $60 can really help out with groceries, gas, maybe you have debt, it could be an extra debt payment or whatever it is that you choose to use the $60 for. Um, $60 is better than no dollars. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this challenge. And even if you're new to savings, even a dollar adds up, you guys. So today we're actually going to go ahead and wrap this puppy up and go ahead and get this cash over to the ATM so I can put it in my high yield savings account. So to complete this challenge, three, six, six times three is 18. So $18 is what we need. Um, so let me go ahead and count out that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So $18 is what we now have to add to um, our dollar days. Uh-oh. Let me go ahead and move that out the way, you guys. Um, so $18. Let me go back here. And now we have a total of, which should be $60. So let's see. 20, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3. Okay. So I have three extra dollars. Maybe I miscounted because you guys know I'm notorious for that. Um, but if not, then again, we just have an extra $3, which I'm not mad about. Okay. Um, so the goal was to finish the challenge and we did exactly that. So if you made it to this point in today's video, go ahead and put in the comments dollar days. And I know you made it to this point in the video. Uh, I'll go back and update my tracker simply because I need to just double check some things. Um, but I will be actually completing my dollar days challenge. 
And then the last savings challenge that I'm going to cash up for today is gonna to be this off the charts, you guys. This is probably one of my favorite challenges in my book because there is so much variety with this particular savings challenge. Um, as you can see, there is anywhere from $1 to $10 that is on this um, chart. And so in the end, you will have a total savings of $200. So what we're gonna do with this off the chart savings challenge is we are going to just kind of see what we're able to color in for the, the rest of the month of April. So I like to try to start with the big numbers if possible. So let's go ahead and start with this $8 here. So five, six, seven, eight. I'm just gonna go ahead and combine those two. So $8 is what we're coloring in. One. And I also like to color in as many squares as possible. Um, so if I have $5, yes, I could do a $5 box or I may do a $3 box and two $1 boxes. So I try to kind of um, do it that way so I can complete the challenge a little bit faster as well. So we have a $8 now. Let's do... Do we want to do six? Do we want to do seven? Let's do a six. Mm, yeah, let's do a six. Let's do a six dollar one. That works for me. All right, six. Because I know I have a five that I'm sitting here looking at. I just don't know how many ones I have. So I need to check that. So five. So that's eight and then five and then six. And now for our ones, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen ones. So four. That's twelve. Did I do that? Four, four, four. So that's twelve plus three would be. 12, 13, 14, 15, and then a one. Yeah, let's do that, you guys. So we're going to, sorry, I had to talk that through. Sometimes I don't like pre-plan this. And so I'm like, um, let's just see what works. Um, So let's go ahead and that way we can color in one, two, three, four, five additional boxes opposed to maybe like two or three. So I think that's a win, you guys. Let me know in the comment, like if you would, have done the same thing or if you would have went like with the seven dollar boxes or how you would have split the sixteen dollars um so let me go ahead and color in these what did i say three seven eleven and then fifteen and then the one so sixteen am i gonna make it up there do i have enough space you guys let me scoot that over a bit. And then this is another one I'll just go back and update my tracker on um, as well. So we only have one, two, three, four, five boxes left for this challenge. So that means that within the next paycheck or two, we should be able to go ahead and finish this challenge as well. And then just add the rest of the funds over to the high yield savings account. So off the charts, where are you at off the charts? Alrighty, so this one has a goal of $200 and I'm just going to go ahead and mix this all in. That's fine because I'll could, i be able to tell the difference. Um, so we have 100, 120, 130, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67. So 167, and I hope you guys know, I do this every single time. Um, I lose count, but I hope that was correct. So if not, you guys correct me in the comments. 
but that is pretty much it you guys for today's cash envelope stuffing if you made it to the end of today's video and you enjoyed it as always please give it a thumbs up you guys make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't forget your notification bell let me know what your favorite savings challenge is and if you enjoyed this video so much make sure you share it with someone who might find it helpful as well but thank you guys so much as always for tuning in i have a special special surprise coming very very soon not sure it's the next video or not but make sure you guys turn on your notification bell um so you can get notified as always thanks for tuning in and i'll see you guys in the next one bye